This animation of Alcatel-Lucent's state-of-the-art cable installation vessels takes us through the initial phases of a shore-end landing operation, plough deployment and burial of a submarine fibre optic cable. The cable installation vessel sets up as close as possible to the shore for the cable landing where teams have the hauling and testing equipment ready on the beach. The installation vessel hands a messenger line to a workboat to connect the vessel to the shore. Deck teams attach floats to the cable as it is hauled to the beach. For this particular installation, the hauler is a bulldozer that pulls the messenger and the cable through a quadrant parallel to the beach. Once the cable end is secured on the beach, the floats are removed by divers. The cable is slacked off to the seabed in preparation for the plough launch. The armoured fibre optical cable is loaded into the 30-ton sea plough, which is overboarded, simultaneously controlling the cable, tow wire and umbilical tensions. The umbilical transfer the control commands and burial information to and from the plough control on the vessel to the plough on the seabed. Once through the splash zone, the plough is landed on the seabed and the required ploughing catenary is established. The HD3 series plough can simultaneously lay and bury cables down to water depths of 1500 metres. Once the towing catenary has been established, the plough team on the vessel articulate the plough, allowing it to penetrate the seabed to the required burial depth. This plough series can plough to 3 metres burial, subject to soil conditions. Burial depth is controlled in two ways, raising or lowering the skids relative to the plough chassis or rotating the share about the chassis hinge. The trench depth is determined by either calculation from the skid, chassis hinge and rear stabilised positions and also directly from the depth skid at the rear of the plough. These ploughs can achieve between 5 and 35 kilometres of burial per day depending on seabed hardness. The simultaneous lay and bury of the fibre optical cable continues to an agreed plough recovery position. From this position, the cable is surface laid across the seafloor. <laughs>